This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by the letter Q and also GoDaddy.com. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. Yeah. That's a pile of pile yeah. for Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I've noticed this out earlier. It's Southern California and I have fruit. This is my favorite story of all time. All right, moving on. Wait. You put <laughs> zombie and you put theory in the title and I don't want to do it. Theory zombie Kevin. Dignation.com. Hello, welcome to Dignation episode, lucky episode number 13. Lucky episode number 13. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation, of course, covers all the weekly top stories on the news and social bookmarking website, dig.com, D-I-G-G dot com. Yes, we are back at my house in San Francisco. Yes, we are. Beautiful day. You're a little, little I'm upset. I have a rehearsal tonight yes. for the show that I'm doing in Los Angeles at 6. Mm -hmm. It is now 1. I had a flight that was supposed to leave at 3. And I got a call from United's automated death bringer that said, my flight got canceled. They're going to fly me through Santa Ana. I'll be home at 10. At least they called. We got you. We yes, got you. at least they called. I would, you, I would have broken the whole airport if I had been there. We got you, uh, we got you going out on um, Southwest, though. So, yes, or, which I'm yes. very excited about. So you're about. good. I can't wait to get my deli number and sprint. Uh, beers. Yes. Beers. Uh, we have quite a few of them. You're supposed to talk about beers. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about beers. Uh, Chelsea, I believe it's Chelsea, yes. right? Um, you bumped into somebody at uh, Noonan's Bar and Grill. For, Actually, uh, the daughter of the person who owned Noonan's because you were shooting Twit. Right. Turns out she's a fan of Dignation, and she gave us like a crap load of beer. And yes. these fun glasses. Yes, which is awesome. Thank you so, so much. Should, yes, thank you, Chelsea. And we'll have to have a real beer when I'm actually in town and not... Like flying out, and you should come out minutes. to uh, a, a twit or something like that. Let's go to Noonan's and party next time uh, you're in town. Oh, there's the icicle. Um, yeah, yeah, I should do that. Well, I'm gonna be, we're gonna do that 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 show next week, and I'm gonna be here for the full, nice, uh, for an evening. So, what kind of beer do you have? Um, I have uh, something from Marin County. This is from Marin Brewing Company in uh, uh, Marin County. Can it's actually right next door to Noonan's, actually. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. That's nice to know. It's a uh, uh, Mount Tam Pale Ale. And uh, I have to say, it's really good. I'm drinking out of a Mulan's Brewery and Restaurant, Nevado, California mug. Yes. But this is good times. Uh, this, uh, this beer that I have is also from the Marin Brewing Company, and this is a blueberry beer. And you, why you didn't frickin' <laughs> Save the save, raspberry? Well, no, why you didn't, well, yes. What the hell, there's too much ice on this stupid. <laughs> Damn you, water! I hate your freezing. He's point. having a hard time putting his beer on the coaster. For it's the, oh oh for the people listening to the. There, how you like them? Apples? I don't care if it's on my table. Oh, damn it! Anywho, <laughs> so um, yes, the blueberry. Yeah, so and you wouldn't you wouldn't actually drink it until see I'm so wild up about the fucking United <laughs> Airlines. I'm gonna kill somebody. Um, you wouldn't actually drink it until the show, so I get to try this now. Yes, yeah, this, this is blueberry. I had the raspberry a couple nights ago when I was uh, mm. playing a little World of Warcraft. What? It's good, isn't it? It's just weird to smell anything other than beer when you start to drink a beer. No, it, I mean, it still it has It smells the... like it's got like, it's like a, a cup that was like used to pick berries. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're drinking a beer out of it. It's Dude. odd. I don't think I'm, I'm not down <laughs> with OTP. I'm sorry. Are you serious? <clears throat> yeah, I, I like the, the, the pale ale. It's oh, it's really so, good. okay. Seriously, this is great beer. If you can find it, uh, outside of California, I don't know if you can. <laughs> Did you spit beer all over your laptop? This is not a good start. We haven't even got to the first story yet. Um, okay. So, uh, <laughs> you're gonna ruin your laptop. This is really good stuff. <laughs> and get oh, back geez. to us on that one. Yeah. Good right. luck with that. And... Loose <laughs> <laughs> coasters. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, Jesus. Let's move on. Yes. I need to get home. First story. We don't have time to restart. It's like we're drunk, but we haven't even begun. Oh, I'm, I'm drunk with anger. All right. <clears throat> First story, Opera. Opera's going free. 2,574 people dug this story submitted by noon. Opera Software has removed the banners and licensing fee of their Opera, Opera web browser, and now it's freeware. That's good. From the story, I thought it had been incarcerated for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> no no uh, jokes when I have a mouthful of beer, please. All right, sorry. 
<clears throat> All right. Well, that's so, cool. I'm I very guess. excited about this. Well, I'm not really excited. I don't care less. I don't I even know, use right. Opera. Firefox. Who, who uses Opera? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's but, one of those things where you knew that they were going to have to go free because Firefox is just whomping everybody. You and know they, what I mean? Well, I mean, they had the, the banners built in, but does anybody really want to sit there and have a Jeez. browsing experience with like an extra banner? That's why people get. That's why people use <coughs> Firefox, so you don't get stupid so pop-up banner like, ads. Pop up, yeah, it's like an extra banner on top of already the banners that are already on the sites that you're visiting. That's like just, that's like having a, a browser that's like, well, we block all the pop. Ups, except for our advertising <laughs> yeah. revenue. Yeah, but I mean, it was a. It, they had to do it. They had to do it, or nobody was going to use uh, the browser. So, well, a lot of people use the browser, but. Um, well, whatever. We don't. They are making money off their premium support, and I'm assuming that they also make like uh, I believe a uh, kind of a little portable lightweight version for cell phones and stuff like that. Oh, I'm right. I'm sure yeah. they're going to get money off of licensing <laughs> fees. I don't think Opera is going anywhere as a company. Um, in fact. Uh, I actually, if you take a look at the latest version of uh, of Opera, they're doing really cool things like bundling like BitTorrent integrated into the browser. Oh, that's nice. And some really interesting stuff. They do have, I, I, I definitely recommend if you haven't played with it, download it. It does have different features and functionality than Firefox. And a lot of it's pretty cool. That's it's, nice. Uh, it's, it's, it's worth checking out. But uh, they have Opera Mail. Zooming. Uh, skinning. skinning, if you will. <laughs> But uh, good times. Good times. Good times. <laughs> it's right. a browser. At the end of the day, if it just shows you what to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, it's all what you. It's only too much personal in- preference, whatever yeah. you like. A PPP. But, uh, that's all it's all about. Because it's free. That's it. Next story. Plague spreads in World of Warcraft. This is actually really cool because we'll talk about that in a second. Mm-hmm. Sixteen hundred and twenty-eight people dug the story submitted by Donus- Dinosaur Boner. Nice. Uh, apparently, there's a plague spreading through World of Warcraft. Bring out your dead. <laughs> So what happens is, and we should say that uh, actually Kevin and I just started playing, mm. well Kevin, Keith, and I, and Sean, Sean from Jinx, Jinx. Um, we all just started playing World of, World of Warcraft, which I don't know why we started, because well, Keith and I are both already addicted to Star Wars Galaxy. But you so like it too. It's really fun, I have to say. It was, uh, I, I kind of like the fact that Kevin was like, we'll get it, we'll, we'll wait, and then we'll all be blah, blah, blah. I show up, and I'm a level like two, and they're all like <laughs> level sevens and eights and nines off killing stuff, and I'm like, but I... I need to grind up But it my doesn't take hard guy. to get up to where we were. It doesn't, no, Kevin, you're right. It doesn't take hard to get up to where we were. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the beer's going straight to my head. So that said, what happened was um, <clears throat> Blizzard decided that they were going to do this thing where they had this instance in a cave up in the middle of nowhere. It was like an elite cave where this like blood god was there. This is all normal stuff. And um, what happened was the blood god was putting on these debuffs. And the debuffs were. Keep going, keep going. I'm sorry. trying. Sorry. The debuffs were this weird uh, blood disease. <laughs> that what happened was it was actually a plague, and what ha- what the people were coming out of the caves and going into the city that was near it, and the people in the city were catching this plague. This is really crazy because it was also affecting non-playing characters. Yeah, the NPCs were getting the plague, and uh, it's kind of it's it's pretty cool. I like the fact that I mean it's like medieval times, yeah. like plagues are rampant throughout the land. Uh, Fairies exist, you know, medieval <laughs> times. <laughs> There's dragons, There's dragons flying around all the You know, the historical period <laughs> medieval times. That's right. <laughs> 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 so the plague makes perfect sense. Yeah, of course. Plague rats, I mean, this, bunny. This is the first time I've heard of something like this happen, though, in an uh, like massively multiplayer a, online RPG. Game. Yes, but uh, I don't know. It's fun. I, I'm glad that you. Joined. Oh, I think it's great. We I, should say what server we're on so people can uh, start up a character. Right. What are we on? Like Stone Canyon or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> no, no, no. What's it called? Uh, Stone Fire, Storm Rage. Storm, Storm Rage. Storm Rage. Storm Rage. Storm Rage. Yeah. Don't give out names yet, though. All right, all right, let's form a guild first and stuff like that. I just don't want you getting okay, free gold. Up. I know how you do that. Oh, free gold. No, 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 no. No, don't say no anything. Say nothing. Names say out. nothing. Because you know people will come up and be like, here's five gold. That's, that's, that's cheating. That's cheating. awesome. That's not cheating. No, that's cheating. That's awesome. It's like paying PayPal for it. Like, you know, oh, not, 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 I've only yeah, done that is. once. I've anyway, done that once uh, too. Let's, I did uh, that in Lineage too. It was no, awesome. I, didn't, I didn't buy gold. I bought uh, an anti-decay kit in Star Wars Galaxies. That's cheating. It is not because somebody wanted to give it away. And I had 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Dude, it's an anti-decay kit. Anyway, we're totally off topic. Okay. Well, we're not, actually, but... Yes. So that was cool. Yeah. Uh, the, they should do a Jedi plague in Star Wars Galaxies. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> and just sl- sl- cut a nice swath through the Jedi population. Because it's true. Is there too many control. Jedis? Oh, dude. When I first started, like, a year ago, it was like, you saw a Jedi and you were like, whoa, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You wanted to go on the shuttle first, sir? Go for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. There were, like, five. And now it's like, well, we're going to wait to build the group, but we have to wait for at least one Jedi. You know so, what I mean? Like, there's just so many freaking Jedi. So are, 
are there any of the the uh, the dark side? I mean, there's like Sith lords out there. Or oh yeah, like that? yeah, totally. Actually, I mean, is it balanced? Is what one, I'm saying. It, it is balanced, and I'll have to say one of the most fun role playing experiences that I had it was that we had two Jedi's in our guild, or three Jedi's in our guild, and uh, we're um, a uh, an alliance guild or a, a rebel mm-hmm. guild, mm-hmm. and. Um, we literally did this thing where I got back on and I heard, I read this email that we had been attacked by these Imperials. Because like, you can like attack cities and take down their defenses and then the, if they're more imp cities than rebel cities, then the, the planet becomes like an imp controlled planet or an Imperial controlled planet. And literally what happened was the, this mass of, of Imperial players start, was storming our cities and the first three players were three of our rebel Jedis that had turned to the dark side and started coming and attacking our city. Oh. It was huge. So they were like kicked out of the guild, they were kicked out of our city, and it was like they attacked. I mean, it was just like, it was one of those moments where I was like, are you kidding me? Like, that's so cool. That's so like from the movie. So what happens if you're not online, like you're eating dinner or something? I was. And then I went online and I saw the email and I was like, well, that's not. <laughs> so you missed the entire event? I missed then? the entire event, but reading it, very impressive. <laughs> nice. Plus those assholes, I never talk to them again. Although they're nice people. Nice. Mm. Next story. Buy it, burn it, return it. One thousand. I wish I could relate. Are we like on the third story? Yes, like, what are. the hell is this? Come on, I got a flight. Uh, buy it, burn it, return it. One thousand eight hundred ninety-nine <laughs> people dug the story. Uh, submitted <laughs> by Keith to spit out his beer. I didn't even know. <laughs> that was like a, a, a flyby. Go for it. <laughs> one thousand eight hundred ninety-nine people uh, uh, dug the story. Submitted by Coops. Times have been hard for Scotty's record shop in northern New Jersey. Oh, they figured out they might as well make them happy. Talking about the customers. <laughs> they might as well make them happy. Whomever that is, yeah. aka the customers. Um, he said the result, the stores are now offering a buy it, burn it, return it policy. This is pretty cool. That's really cool. So did you did you read the story? Did nope. You, okay. So basically what In they're saying is me. that uh, what what you can do is they were tired of uh, there were, so many people are buying music online. And they realize that you know their sales are going down. People yep. have all these iPods. Yep. They're downloading MP3s. Yep. So they figured, why not put in a policy that says that you can buy it, take it back to the store later, uh, up to like a week later, I believe, and then return it, and you get. Oh, here it is, right here. Actually, here's the exact policy. It says uh, customers can buy um, a used or new CD, take it home, listen to it if they want, burn a copy to a computer, and then within 10 days they can return the CD for 70% store credit. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. So they're making a little bit of change, but kind of going, look, it's, is it worth three bucks for you to have the CD? CD right. quality, not download, you know what I mean? Like, See, for me, I, I think that's a really cool deal because, well... What is the RIAA thing about this? Well, they, see, that's what they're worried about. I was just about to say. To, they're going to have to change the language that they're using. They're not going to have to, they're not going to say, like, burn it. They'll be able to say, like, buy it and return it. Because it's okay to, if you're a shop, a shop sure, store owner, sure. and take a don't return back. Tell. Don't ask, don't tell. Exactly. Yeah. But you, you can't say, like, burn it and then just return yeah. it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, rip it and then return it to us. It's uh, it's an interesting way to go about things. I like it because you can go get a full CD, uh, and you don't have to worry about DRM. You know, you just burn it or back it up, and then sure. you know, take it back, seventy percent credit, pay thirty uh, percent more, and get a new CD. Yeah, but when was the last time? I mean, honestly, when was the last time you listened to a whole CD and liked every song on the CD? Well, you know, besides I'm, the I'm postal service, like that, I though. love that. Yeah, I love that postal service. Great, great stuff. I'm not a big fan of his other project though. Uh, Dead tree people. What uh, was he called? Dead cat. Death Pussy, cat for cutie. Death cat for cutie. <laughs> <laughs> did I say pussy? I yes, don't think I did. did. But I meant because it was a cat. No, I, cat for, for, for I, pussy. I saw him live. Not ah, it was just too emo for me, man. It was like a real, little like too many crying kids and stuff like that. It was pretty bad. Emo? Yeah, emotional like emo hardcore. Phillips? Oh, oh. You never heard of emo music? No, I've heard of emo Phillips. Oh, <laughs> fair <laughs> enough. Um, there was something else I was gonna say though. What was it? Something uh, deathly witty. Yes, I'm sure. So uh, that's that. Ah, yes. All right. And ten people did lose their <laughs> lives. No, it's horrible. Steve Jobs says no to raising iTunes prices. This is good. Mm-hmm. 1,641 people dug the story submitted by Ensign Blues. I don't know. Yeah, it's good times. If they were to raise the prices, it means they're getting greedy, said Jobs, chief executive of Apple, at a news conference in Paris on Tuesday. If the price goes up, they, consumers, will go back to piracy, and everybody loses. I agree. Kevin, everybody loses. No, I agree. I think it's... it's Was there a rumor going around that they were going to raise their prices? There has been for some time. Uh, I guess, you know... Are they not making enough money with millions and millions of downloads at 99 cents? That's that's what Jobs is saying. He's saying that, you know, if you take out the cost of... um, uh, advertising and like uh, and, and actually creating the, the disc itself and packaging and shipping it to stores 
the record companies make more money by si uh, selling it through iTunes sure. than they do uh, um, by shipping it to a store and actually selling it through the store. That, so, that makes sense. But they want, I mean, they see the success of the iTunes music store. You know, it's getting millions and millions of downloads. Yeah. Uh, and they just want a little bit more money. They want, they're greedy. They want more cash. And it's really sad. And it's, I'm glad that Jobs is actually standing up to them and saying, no, I'm not going to raise the prices. And it could get interesting if they decide to say, well, yes, you are. Otherwise, when our terms are up, right, yeah. we're going to take our music collection out of your... It's I hard. Know. I mean, it's real hard because it is. It's one of those things where it's like, well, <clears throat> if they walk with all their music, with all the music libraries, which they can't... And I don't know what the terms are. I don't know if they signed like a 10-year contract for I, them on I, iTunes I, or like I a five or four. I thought it was like one. a four, three or four years, something like that, that I had read. I mean, but. that that would be... A, earth shaking if well, they were like well now but then again it's well, what 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 is everybody used to I mean like now I look at 99 cents as nothing see so do I I'm the exact same way like I'll go online and I'll see it one in the iTunes music store and it's just so much easier for me to click buy the entire album right done 10 bucks I get my 14 songs I'm happy I'm, I'm right it's a done deal I can burn it out to CD if I want that's fine, but if they raise the prices, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay a dollar fifty no, a song or a dollar no. twenty five. Ninety nine cents is that perfect price point. You know what I mean? Yep. It's like it's well, that's why everything's like the ninety nine. It's all right, mental. It's like fourteen ninety nine doesn't look like fifteen dollars, right. even though it's a penny less than fifteen dollars. Yeah, like McDonald's and Wendy's have their ninety nine cent value menus. Sure. Right. Because you have a buck. Yeah. And then after taxes, you need <laughs> five. Seven. Depends on state tax. Yeah, man. Oh, I just had Various. McDonald's the other day. I hate myself. Mm. Uh, I haven't had it in like a year or two Good years. for you, dude. I just love the dude. taste. Dude, I swear to God. I swear to <laughs> fucking God. <coughs> I love the me. food. McDonald's. Are you serious? Big Mac. Oh, Big Mac. Uh, oh, my God. Well, so did I, and it tastes like shit now. Well, you're just a nice person. Dude, you don't... Okay, <clears throat> the fries, pretty good. This is the best fries in the world. They are. They're, they're made of uh, beef, pork, uh, <laughs> sugar. There's Artificial. no potato. I don't think there's yeah. any potato in there. Uh, no, but like I was one of the, I was one of the only people that watched. Um, um, what was the Fast Food Nation? Fast, no, not yeah. The well, movie, you read the Fast book. It's coming out. Did you know that? What the hell's going on? Prager. Prager. Prager in his cell phone. Oh, oh Prager. Prager left his cell phone on. That soundbite that Rayvon always used to play. What's that? But, oh, Prager. Whoop, whoop. Prager. Prager. Yeah, like a, um, what was I saying? No, I watched uh, um, uh, the the not Fast Food Nation, the one with uh, the, the guy um, who does Thirty Days now. Um, uh, the food McDonald's. Super size. Super size me. me. Yes. I watched Super Size Me. Yeah. And literally at the end, I went. I wanted to go to McDonald's and get a Big Mac. Are you I serious? I swear to God, I was like, I know it's bad. Oh but my God. Damn if that didn't want me to make me eat a Big Mac. Are you serious? Oh, oh, that's Filet of fish. I I almost picketed Dude. in college because they changed the Filet of fish. Does anybody remember this when they changed the filet of fish from that like just you know what it's just bare bones goodness of two pieces of bread loosely formed into a patty oh shape, my, dude, a dude, deep this is fried disgusting piece me. of we have fish, to move on. This is some nasty. tartar sauce. Then they had this like potato bread, lettuce, salt and pepper. I was like, oh, just give me a filet. Oh, all that <clears throat> crap is nasty, man. I mean, I know it's horrible for my body, but damn, it tastes. I mean, give it up for like six months and you'll never go back because when you go back, you're just like, this is crap. Crap. All right, I'll try it. Yeah. How, six months? Yeah, six months to a year. Sheesh. All right. All right. I had a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the airport. Come on, that's all they had. Oh, My turn or your turn? Yes, we should, we should have McDonald's sponsor okay. us. <laughs> McDonald's. I would not do that. Sometimes crappy. What, what was the thing we said about the beer? It's the same thing about the food. Yes. Some, uh, there's a time and a place for <laughs> crappy <laughs> food. <laughs> Next story, <laughs> office space. <laughs> Extra special edition, 1,448 people dug the story by Big Irvin. Yeah, Best baby. Buy is offering office space <laughs> gift set. It includes all the necessary supplies, including the infamous red stapler. Oh, that's so Finally, great. Milton will find it. This is awesome. It's like a big bundle pack, and they put the uh, stapler right the in there. Stapler. Now, I heard, I, heard, um, I heard that Swingline, I think it's Swingline, right, that, that makes yeah, yeah. the stapler. I heard that they didn't make a red stapler. And that they did it just for the movie. They wrote it in just for the really? movie, but that they, they had so much requests for oh, the red stapler that they decided to manufacture it. And that they hadn't manufactured one before the movie. That's interesting. If that is true, which it might very well not be, be uh, but if legend. that is true, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I think that... Uh, and that's the, guy, that's the guy from News Radio. Not many people know that that's the guy from News Radio. I mean, well, a, a lot of people know, but a lot of people think that because he looks so different, Stephen Root, I think is his name. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's the guy from News Radio. He was the boss in News Radio. And he also plays um, one of the friends on uh, King of the Hill. 
Oh, really? Yeah, he plays, the, he plays the stupid one that's like, I don't know, Peter. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. The bald guy with nice. the thing. Steven I'm going to pick one up, though. Steven Root, good guy. Good, uh, good, good guy. Good Christmas gift pack. Oh, that's great. Oh, pff, anybody who loves Office Space. What? Why is Office Space coming back? Like, what's the deal? We've been talking about you Office know, Space like three times. You know what's funny is I saw it. They actually are... When the DVD released and then this is released? No, the DVD's been out for a while, but they're playing <laughs> in theaters again here in San Francisco. I was I was down the street and I saw, yeah, they actually have it in a theater down the street. It's like, you awesome. know, San Francisco, like indie theaters, sure, like whatever. Well. Yeah. They, it's not all across the United States, but... It's kind of cool. I'd like to go see it. Dude, there's a place um, on Santa Ma- on uh, uh, Montana and like 14th down by in my LA. place, and yeah. it was um, it was showing the original Dune mm. in the theater and Jaws. Oh, nice! And I was just like, dude, two great movies That's to see awesome. in the theater because I've never seen I never oh, saw I Dune in theater. the theater. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, right, 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 because you were down there. <laughs> um, you lived there for a little while. Uh, okay, good times. So let's move on. Mm. <clears throat> Google begins limited test of Wi-Fi. This is very cool. 1,362 people dug the story submitted by Matrix 2022. Google, the online search leader, confirmed on Tuesday it has begun a limited test of free wireless internet access called Google Wi-Fi. And so it begins. (laughs) That's what he wrote. We've talked about this before. Well, there's rumors of it. There's been rumors like for months and months. Yeah, that they're going to do free nationwide Wi-Fi with ad base and that whole thing. Remember we were talking about the yeah, whole yeah. thing with the, the sandwich place? I can't remember what I called that sandwich place, but... Um, this is pretty interesting, though. I mean, they're only rolling it out locally, and did you, uh, you, did you find out how this... Uh, nope. No, you didn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> did you... Th- so, this is the deal. Uh, the, the, how this came about and how this, uh, this entire plan to roll out Wi-Fi and all this stuff is they, they provide their engineers. They, they call it the 80-20 plan. Sure. Or they say... 20% time projects. Right, exactly. 20% of the time to spend on personal projects, which is awesome. No, well, that's cool. Yeah, so this was, like, a lot of good things have come out of uh, that 20% time on personal projects. So it's like... Yeah, Google encouraged engineers to spend 20% of their work time developing independent projects. Several of Google's new products have grown out of such products, including Google News, contextual advertising product, AdSense. Ooh, AdSense came mm-hmm. out of that? And Orca, too. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I mean, it's smart. It, that, what a great idea for a company. It's like they're like, "Hey, we're going to pay you full time." Yeah. You know, but 20% of your time, you just get to work on whatever you want. That of course we own. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I own, love that. that. We own all the I rights. Love, yeah, too. right. I love that. You're like, "Great idea with that Google AdSense. That'll make us a shitload of money." <laughs> that is ours now. <laughs> that <laughs> is ours now. Yes. Uh, I love your new child. We're going to have him as our <laughs> spokesperson. <laughs> it's cool though, right? Oh, it's great. I That's think- so great. Um, so they've already uh, launched some sponsored hotspots in uh, San Francisco's Union Square. Right. Ooh, you should check it out. I am. Do. I'm going to go down there and check it out and see how fast it is and all that good stuff. But I don't think they have any, like, right now it seems to be, uh, from according to the article, I haven't used it personally, but it's just like an open Wi-Fi access point. It's not like you're anything special. I know there's this Google, mm. like, VPN, like, secure software that they launched recently, but I don't know. I'm going to go play with it. What do you think it. they're going to be? Like, where do you think they're shooting for with the Wi-Fi access? Personally, I mean, obviously, <laughs> they're not going to allow you just to connect, open up your own browser, and just go to town. I mean, it's not about just giving free internet access. They obviously want to tie it in somehow to what you're doing. Probably, I okay. mean, there's a lot of things going on. I mean, obviously, there's Google Toolbar, there's Google Sidebar, there's Google Top Bar. <laughs> there's like <laughs> there's Google Underbar, there's the Australian like, Google Bar, which is underneath because it's backwards. There's just like, there's so much of this crap. <laughs> They're probably going to have some type of like, you know, a Wi-Fi application that you install that somehow puts ads on the side depending on where you're browsing or where you are, like we talked about before. Sure. I'm sure that's what I mean, is going to become of it. I can't yeah. see them. I mean, it's going to be Although I like free. that social, the, the, the social network, the proximity networking thing where yeah. you can be like, I need a sandwich. And your like sandwich hat tells where you're at and yeah. can suggest things around. I need area. a Big Mac ASAP. It's going to be really crazy. I mean, I, I, 15, 10, 15 years from now, it's going to be nuts. Yes, I agree. No, I mean, don't you agree? Like, we'll, we'll be have cloning here. and flying cars. We'll, and no, no, no. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, we'll be connecting to, uh, you know, our free Wi-Fi or whatever it may be, and there was, we're going to get all kinds of, like, social recommendations based upon where we are and what we're into and what we're doing. <laughs> That'd be awesome if you, like, connect to the Wi-Fi. It's like, please change your pants. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, I didn't even know. I didn't. Sorry. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. I didn't realize Plaid after Labor not, Day was the next name. Those types of social recommendations. <laughs> well, I was like, what social recommendations? Well, I'm just saying, like, if you... The girl to your left looks hot. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, you should totally talk to her. She's into this. Oh, that's... She likes kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Dude, that's where the drunk algorithm... Remember that mm-hmm. thing we were talking about? Yeah. That's awesome. We should make that. That would make a lot of money. 
Patent that. <clears throat> Patented. Next we're, story. We're working on that. It's open office. <laughs> <laughs> next story. Twenty-eight. <laughs> it's just. Oh, it's open office. Just something to say. It's just something to say. Uh, next story. Twenty-eight hour day. One thousand one hundred eighty. <laughs> What's up, dude? Stop laughing at everything. <laughs> Sorry, it's just awesome. 28 hour <laughs> no, day. 20, 28 hour day. 1,184 people dug this story. Submit, submitted by JK47H3. This seems like an interesting concept. What if we all changed to a 28 hour day? This would be a cool life mod. And he's got a point. It would be pretty cool. Yeah, you, well, you read it out loud, and I was like, whoa, okay, okay. I know. I guess it, that's good times. No, it's it's actually it's pretty crazy. Let me uh, let me pull up the article right here. Twenty four. I should have had this pulled up already. Um, yes, you should have. So the whole deal is twenty eight hours. There we go. So the whole deal is that they they want you to shift your time from a twenty four hour day to a twenty eight hour day. So you still get the same amount of sleep. Right. How so does this work? so if you take a look at it, your twenty four hour day is basically uh, broken up into like uh, you know you have a couple hours of commuting time, eight hour work day, six hours of free time, and then eight hours of sleep. Okay, okay. that's an, a typical twenty four hour day. Typical twenty four hour now, day for the the brainless slob that goes to work. If yeah, exactly. Now if you have the Including freedom us. of yes. working independently, you know, on your own or at sure. your house or whatever, you could switch to a twenty eight hour day, which is you do this four times a week. With the 24-hour day, they're talking about this is like something you do five times a week, like a standard work week. This would be a 28-hour uh, work uh, day that you do four times a week, which includes 10 hours of work time. So an extra two hours of work time every day. Extra two hours of work time, but then you get seven hours of free time versus six before, ah. and nine hours of sleep. Ah! That's kind of cool. An that extra, is cool. An extra hour of sleep. But <clears throat> However, so, one time you're actually up through the entire night. Right. Well, there's you're, not, out of, you're out of the solar lunar schedule well, and onto not, a not so interesting schedule. Right. So here's a little chart right here. It's kind of hard to see because yes, um, I'm running at a pretty high resolution here. But take a look at it. So your standard work week, it breaks it down. Obviously, it's perfect in the fact that uh, you know you wake up when the sun rises and you go to sleep when it uh, right. when it sets. But if you move to the 28 by 6 day, like you said, it shifts a little bit. So most of the week, though, I so mean, all day Wednesday you're asleep. No, 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 no. No, you're pointing to the wrong thing. I'm not pointing to the wrong thing. I'm pointing yes, to you Wednesday yes. asleep. Right, but hours you wake up when the sun's day. setting and you go to sleep when... That's okay, called I sleep know, no, the I, know, I understand, day. I understand, I understand. But you can see where the benefit is. <laughs> <laughs> with, yes. Uh, with uh, if, Taking the whole not being out during the day, taking the whole vampire side aside. Right. There's I can a huge see benefit. the benefit. Yeah, it's a little bit like the what? What was the half day Friday, double day Friday? What was that? You remember that thing where four they tens? add four takes? Tens. What? Nothing. <laughs> Have you never worked at four tens before? Is that like ten, ten, ten? Half four, day? four ten hour days to give every Friday off. No, what I was doing was the other way, where it's like. Nine 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 half day nine 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 off. Ah, that's kind of fun too. Yeah. I've done that too. That works. But the only problem with this, like anyway. you said, is that it just really screws you up your, your sleep schedule. Okay. Well, first off, there's an actual like there's an actual um, um, symptom. No, that's not right. There's an actual like uh, uh, what are those people up in the the sun lack of sun syndrome or whatever it's called? Yeah. Light, well, you need light light affected disorder. Well, you need ten hours, or you need at least they say. No, 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 no. I'm talking about up in Australia. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about up in Australia, Kevin. <laughs> no, up in Alaska, where they have the thing where the they, oh. they, the sun never comes out. And they go freaking crazy. Well, they this get would depressed. Be great and... for Alaska. Yeah, there's certain light bulbs that you can get that actually put off those UV rays that your body needs to not become depressed. Have you heard about that? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm serious. <laughs> because I live in Southern California and the sun's always right. Out. So let me read you a little bit about this Please. right now. Uh, it says on a 24 hour day graph, there is no Monday. <laughs> the Monday just appears. Monday. Where does Monday go? Monday. Kevin, where does Monday go? Monday's just straight gone. You just gotta let go of Monday. It's on a gone. 24 hour schedule or yeah, on a 24 hour, hour day? day graph? Now, Thursdays... Wait, the 28-hour day graph. Right. I don't think they just said, by the way, we're just destroyed <laughs> Monday. On the normal graph, right. Monday's just gone. <laughs> no, 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 on the 28-hour. this hour. experiment, now, we're assuming Monday Thurs is lost. Thursday's work period occurs in darkness. Right. But sets you up for a sun-drenched weekend. So, the nice thing about this schedule... This sounds like somebody who's like, I've got an idea, and I've never tried this. No, no, seriously, <laughs> if, if you think about this, like... 
okay, I have to tell you, like we can, I'm going to really screw this up, but if you go to the yes. website, we're going to dig this story, go to the website, check out the graphs, read it for yourself. Your week is basically screwed up. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like, but your weekends are nice and sh nice and, and sunny. You get a full day. See, look at that. See, awake during the day there, <laughs> awake during the day on Sunday. You know what the crazy thing is, Kevin? I'm usually awake during the day <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday. I don't know what you've been doing, but this is usually awake time for Alex anyway. <laughs> what? What? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Hear me out. You I'm get, hearing you. You get dude. more sleep during the week. You get more time okay. to work on your projects. And uh, you get your 20% time for Google. You, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it is a hey, crappy schedule. Hey, you know what? Honestly, try that. Let no, me know I'm, how that works. I'm not going to try it. Well, then why are you telling people to try it? Because there was a lot of digs on it and we had to talk about it. All right. All right. That's good times. All right. Hopefully those uh, Alaskan people are dealing with the sun loss in uh, good ways yes. and not killing people. <laughs> Next story. Good news, colon. Yahoo's new email kicks some Gmail ass. Seems a little biased in the submission, but mm -hmm. whatever. 1,064 people dug the story submitted by Game Girl. Well, she can be biased. Uh, multi- <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> there was some phlegm in that one. That was terrible. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> oh, swallow, dude, Just swallow. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Oh, uh, wow. That's impressive. All right. That was a lot of phlegm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-paned interface similar... <laughs> Pull it. Focus. Focus. And pull it. Multi-paned interface similar to desktop applications. Drag and drop functionality. Message tabs. That's actually, I'm interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> you are not. Like you're going uh, to be flying you know, home and be like, what are those Yahoo message tabs are all about? <laughs> you I, would, care I wish I could be that. using those message tabs right now in the airplane. All right, forget it. Uh, automatic and unobtrusive data page refresh, <laughs> whatever that means. Keyboard shortcuts. Overall, Yahoo's evolutionary off offering surpasses Gmail as the best free webmail client, even as beta. All right, obviously this person works for Google or Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> works for Yahoo. So the whole thing is, is that Yahoo, <clears throat> Yahoo released its Yahoo Mail upgrade. Beta. Beta. Yes. And they have screenshots of it on the website. Okay, I'm trying to find <clears throat> that. There it is. It looks really slick. It I mean, the one thing I'll say awesome. about the one thing I'll say about Google is I miss the fact that it doesn't look anything like a freaking email program. You know what I mean? Like, I gray out. Like, I read uh, an email and it just goes into the ether. Like, I cannot remember. Oh, I'm supposed to apply to that. I mean, yeah, you could put stars and tabs and blah, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But this looks pretty. This yeah. looks pretty high end here. You know what? It's it's funny. It's like. Um, Look at the drag and drop capabilities here. See how they were dragging that message and it's kind of floating and they can just drop it, drop into, the it trash. into the folder? Or the I don't trash. know. This is more like, <clears throat> it's really cool to see a lot of these websites, especially with all the things that you can do now with like all of the uh, Ajax stuff and like din dynamic HTML. Yeah. And uh, you're really starting to see a whole, I no, I hate to use like the, well, I'm not going to use the word like, well, I'm not going to say it, but... No, do it, well, please. Okay, well, there's like Synergy? a lot of... Synergy? No, 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 uh, no, no, no. I'm saying there's a lot of like new companies. They're calling them like Web 2.0 companies where ah. these type of applications are getting more and more like standard desktop applications. So yeah, right. Here you have something that's like Yahoo Mail Beta Client. Which looks a lot like Outlook. It looks just like Outlook. It renders all inside of your browser and it has all the feel and like functionality of a standard like actual application that would be right, running yeah. on your system. I yeah. mean, you can drag and drop messages into folders. It's got a, a bunch of like a, a preview pane. It's auto refreshing. It checks for new mail. I mean, I know a lot of clients have done that for a long time, but this is really cool. And I have to say that this is probably the best looking mail client that I've seen. Oh, web-based? Yeah, hell yeah. I, it looks really good. The only problem mm. with Yahoo Mail that I have is that all the freaking good names are taken up, man. I tried to get a Yahoo Mail account and I'm like, Obviously, like I mean, Kevin Can you Rose use is your taken. Old ones? I was like, I was like, Kevin <laughs> Rose two two seven. It's like Kevin Rose two two seven is taken because there's like, freaking, how many freaking Kevin Roses are there? There's like, there's like billions of people. On you should freaking... just email Kevin Rose at, at yahoo.com and be, and like, be like, dude, dude, I'm bucks. Kevin Rose. No, dude, there's other Kevin Roses out there. It doesn't mean like I'm not the Kevin Rose. I'm not even Kevin Rose. My first name isn't Kevin. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I go by my middle name. My dad and I share the first name of Robert, so I go by my middle name Kevin. <laughs> You just started mumbling so badly at the end of that. You're like, I just get rid of No, it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's true. No, but, yeah, I remember uh, that. But still, you're. I mean, come on, you're Kevin Rose. You know what I mean? Like everybody else wants to be. 
No, they do not. Is. Everybody wants to be you. Um, so check it out. It's worth uh, it's worth playing around with. If you have a Yahoo Mail service, they didn't say how you go about. It. I don't think there's an easy way to like switch to beta mode. Like I think it's oh, by so invite if I go to only. Yahoo, if I go to Yahoo, it's going to be the same crap. Right. Exactly. Unless I get invited have to say, into the. Yeah, their old mail client sucked. Oh, dude, it's my spam mail client. It's like when I'm signing up for something, I'm like. We gotta move. What are we on? Like Forty-five minutes or something like that. Jesus, come on, let's move. Let's let's move on. How many minutes are we in, Keith? I don't have no clue. A lot. Okay. Come on. All right. Because we started at like one oh four and it's one thirty eight. So let's just All blow right. through let's these. Make your own post-it uh, <laughs> note mosaic. Seven hundred people dug this uh, story submitted by I hate H eight Gates. Shit, I gotta get to the airport. Come on. <laughs> okay, hold on. Detailed instructions on creating your own temporary masterpiece out of post-it notes. Now I've seen this online before, but uh, so this is using mosaic, which is the thing that makes like allows you to print up those big images with small images as the dots. Right. So basically, what what the guy is, <coughs> he has a nice little article there that you should probably uh, take a look at, and you take an image that you're into. Is that the article? Right no, there? <laughs> I don't have the article. <laughs> All right, up. Go, go. But you take the image and you convert it uh, and, and transform it into individual colored pixels. So you you say I'm working with a palette of say five different color post-it notes, right? Which is the post like yellow, green, pink. Purple, blue, like blue, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And so it takes that palette and it converts an existing image into a compatible, I mean, uses all those colors and converts it into something that's compatible and breaks it up into little pixels. So then what you do is you can like print it out or blow it like up or, or create like a, yeah, like a map. So you know, okay, if I have a, a 10 by 10 wall and I want right. to make a really cool like mosaic picture of whatever, I can like, you know, your girlfriend or something. Right, or Kevin Rose. Uh, you could take the, it'll, no, not Kevin, let's quit off that. You can take, uh, you'll say, okay, the first thing you need to start with is like four blue across the top. And so you start in the upper corner, put four blue post-it notes, and they'll say, okay, now you need two yellow. And you just keep adding that up. And as you can wow. see here in the pictures. There's some great pictures. Uh, yeah, there's some great pictures. Man, and that seems like it would take a long time. It would take a long time. Yeah. And it's probably a waste of time. But, uh, I don't know about a it, waste of time. In result looks pretty cool. Mostly a waste of time. But it would su you gotta use like I feel like you almost have to use super glue or something though because it would suck to spend like five hours doing it. You know how post-it notes after like yeah, yeah, you know yeah. like a, a couple day. weeks it's like yeah. all of a sudden there's like boop, one falls off and boop, well maybe you could like put them on there and like spray like you know whatever on top of like it. Uh, super glue. Do they have super glue spray? I don't know. I'm sure. Somebody's <laughs> no, there's uh you can if use not, like uh, Google people. Aquanet. Aquanet. Yes. Hairspray? It would hold. It's sticky. Right, have you ever used Aquanet? I it's have, really and my sticky. hair is on fire. 3M Cockspray. That's it. 3 what? Actually, he's, he's telling 3M the truth. 3M Cockspray? They <laughs> said <laughs> 3M Scotch, Scotch Spray. Scotch Spray. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, spray cocking. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, let's move on from the Cockspray. Uh, Job says pirates will burn in hell. 992 people dug the story submitted by Rice. Just Rice. In addition to his comments on uh, Intel Max and the music industry, Jobs also threw in a tidbit while discussing OS X running on any PC. Theft is bad, he said, warning. You don't want to burn in hell. What? <laughs> no, that's awesome. I'm glad. Check out that. the OS X 86 forums for discussion and analysis. <laughs> You know, I like, I think Jobs kicks ass, man. Well, first off, what's with all these people? Like, what's Bomber was throwing chairs and stuff? And well, like, Bomber's they're all getting fired up. <laughs> I know. Bomber's always fired I mean, up, but the they're all getting fired up. At the end of the, the, of the day, right they now. gotta just go home and be like, okay, it's computers, guys. Are we Dude, really gonna throw chairs? No, you know why? Because it's D&D &D kids. They were D&D <laughs> &D kids that would throw chairs about roles, and now they've got multi-billion dollar yeah. corporations that they throw chairs yeah, about. Yeah, you're right, you're probably right. You but know what I mean? I think that's kick-ass of Jobs to say, though. Like, he's like, you're that's gonna great. burn in hell if you pirate or you, uh, you do that. Gates would never say that. No, Gates would just come and kill your family. <laughs> <laughs> Gates has his little subtle ways of working. <laughs> <laughs> He's more of a figure than the pie. He would just make a phone pie. call. He would just make a phone call. Yeah, everything's and all of a taken sudden, care your of. mom would call and be like, "Could you turn off your computer?" <laughs> you're, you're. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, Gates is a good, good man. <laughs> this is a crazy episode. It is. We're done. Uh, we apologize for the craziness <clears throat> of this episode. Uh, they're not gonna let me on my plane. I'm drunk. 
<laughs> they let you on the plane. I've been on. I've gotten on the plane. They're like, they're not gonna let you. No, they will. If there's I've been out there. conscious, <laughs> no, well, Southwest. If there's I'm anybody like, that's been on planes drunk, it's it's me. Or, yeah, right. We heard your story of passing out in the middle of the, yes, of the aisle. Yes, I. Uh, Good time. Dude, did you see that freaking crash? Don't even talk about it. I have to get did, on a plane. No, I just got off one. The gear was like sideways. Did you watch that crap? No, I just heard about it on the radio. Uh, I I'm glad I didn't because I had to fly today. I mean, I was I, I was watching. Dude, it's 142, and I had said that it was 145. I needed to leave. Oh, we do. Leave. Yeah, we we leave. Go. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, so before we go, we do want to give uh, special thanks to our sponsor, GoDaddy.com, who offers web solutions including domain registration, hosting solutions, website creation tools, personalized email, much, much more. Yes, for a limited time, GoDaddy is offering $199 domain names, transfers, or renewals. Uh, <laughs> fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, do it again. Come on. Okay, okay no, seriously. Well, um, Damn it. <laughs> just start reading it. Okay. It's just an ad. <laughs> no, you're right. We are, we are very thankful that GoDaddy is sponsoring us. <laughs> you're not going to be able to get through it. Let me do it. Okay, go ahead. Jesus. For a limited time, GoDaddy is offering 199 domains, which is actually pretty good. For a transfer renewal, each and every new non-domain product you buy, which I'm not sure exactly what that means, <laughs> but they will. Each domain name includes complete email address, which is a $9.95 value for free. That's your own personalized email account, plus... Dignation listeners, this is hot. Check this out. Dignation listeners get an additional 10% off any order. Just enter DIGG, D-I-G-G, as your uh, source code when you're checking out. Yes, I got to tell you that uh, I actually, I had never used GoDaddy before. Yeah. And they, they contacted us. And they're like, hey, we're interested in, in sponsoring you. And I'd use other services. Sure, sure. And so uh, uh, my sister needed a domain name. And I went and I signed her up. Because it's buck ninety nine. Yeah, dude, why not? For a freaking domain. Do it. And so I, I got her an email account and a domain name. So pretty good deal. Yeah, I, I, need to, I need to, re, to uh, renew mine. Also. Transfer them over, dude. Buck ninety nine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. But also, we'd bucks. also we'd really like to thank uh, um, iDeposit.net, who's also a sponsor of this episode for supporting Dignation. Um, if you got a business website, iDeposit.net can be an awesome asset. Uh, they have online payment gateway services that allow you to process credit cards in real time from your website or manually with uh, a virtual terminal thing. So, uh, you know, check them out if you're interested. If you need business websites, idepositnet Definitely. They help pay for our bandwidth, which is awesome. They do. Booyakasha. Uh, so that's it for this edition of Dignation. Yes. If you want to uh, check out any of the stories we've talked about today, you can check out dig.com, D-I-G-G.com, slash users, slash Dignation, and also if you want to see what I've been digging throughout the week, although not this week because I've been very busy, but next week, you can check out dig.com, D-I-G-G.com, slash users, slash Alex Albrecht. And I'm slash users, slash Kevin Rose. So that's it for this edition. Thank you for listening. I'm Alex Albrecht. Until next time. That's Kevin Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Bye. Check, check, check. Welcome to Dignation, episode number 13. I'm Kevin Rose. And of course, with me as always, the multi-talented and deathly handsome Alex Albrecht. Alex? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best Alex impersonation I've ever heard. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>